Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. Today we're going to be doing a grade 11 chemistry lab where we look at some of the properties of ionic and molecular compounds. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the solubility and solution conductivity of, we have here sodium chloride, sucrose, potassium sulfate, calcium sulfate, sodium nitrate, and sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. Then we also have ethanol. So notice most of these are solids, but one is going to be a liquid. So what I want you to do is you're going to make a table. You can indicate all the different compounds we're going to use, state whether or not they're a solid or liquid, and then make a column for solubility, how well it dissolves, and you can say low, medium, or high solubility, or none at all. And for conductivity, same thing, a solution conductivity, make a column to say either low, medium, or high conductivity. Now this is what we're going to be using to test for conductivity. We also have a small little beaker, a cute little beaker, that we're going to be um, mixing our solutions with distilled water. You don't want to use tap water because tap water has all sorts of ions in it that's going to conduct electricity, so it's going to completely mess up our observation. So we use distilled water. And we have a stirring rod to mix them. All right, so let's start sodium chloride. So all we're going to do is put just a little bit, just the tip of our scrupula of sodium chloride in there. Then we're going to squirt in some distilled water. You can go to about 10 to 15 milliliters. Good. And then we mix. All right, so take a look at our solubility. And now, to test conductivity, okay, we can clearly see both the red and green light are on, so that means we have a high conductivity. If the red light was on but not the green light, that would mean a low conductivity, and if both lights were off, no conductivity. So we'll rinse off our conductivity tester, we'll rinse out our beaker, and we'll go to the next one. All right, next one is sucrose. This one is a molecular compound, whereas our first example was an ionic compound. So we put a little bit of sucrose in there. Again, about 10 to 15 milliliters of water. And stir. So there you go, you can mark on your observation table the solubility of sucrose. And now for our conductivity tester, you can mark the conductivity of sucrose. You can see the red light is a little bit on, but no green light. All right, rinse and move to the next one. 
Our next one is potassium sulfate. So we've got that metal in there, so this is an ionic compound. All right, again, about 10 to 15 milliliters of water. And stir. Alright, so mark down your solubility and your conductivity. Now we'll move on to the next one. Make sure you want to rinse out the conductivity tester, the stirring rod, and the beaker. Next, we have calcium sulfate. Same thing, 10 to 15 milliliters. And stir. Mark down your solubility. You can see this one's a little bit more cloudy than the other ones. And conductivity. All right, moving on to the next ones. Next, we have sodium nitrate. That one was fast. All right, solubility, make your observations, and conductivity. Next, sodium bicarbonate, or baking soda. All right, write down your solubility and conductivity. So I'm just gonna use a medicine dropper. 
put a little bit of ethanol. And water. Now, I get asked many ways, how do you tell if it's soluble? Well, it's like oil and water. You can clearly see it that they're separating. So you can see here, are they separating or are they not? Another way to do it is the physics way. Put something in and look at the index of refraction. Is it bending once as it goes from air into the solution or twice as it would go into two separate um, liquids? Write down your answer and let's test conductivity. All right. Hope you enjoyed that lab. There'll be some resources in the description and make sure you subscribe to see more.